Container Gardening Vegetables for Beginners. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about container gardening and some things that you may need to know if you're just starting out. This is a great method for growing vegetables, particularly if you have limited growing space in your backyard, or perhaps you're in an apartment and you only have a balcony to work with. First off, you want to start with a container. The larger the container, the better. There are many plants that are going to need a high nutrient and high water solution in order to thrive properly, so the more soil they have to work with, the more healthy they will be. You also want to think long term. These plants are going to grow whether you start them with a seed or a seedling and so you want to make sure that the container is the appropriate size for the mature plant. If you're reusing containers, you want to make sure that you disinfect the container first. This can easily be done with a water and bleach solution or a water and vinegar solution. I'll leave some percentages for you in my companion article on our blog. You also want to make sure that your container has plenty of drainage. If you're working on a patio and you don't have a runoff area, then a self-watering container may be your best bet. These containers tend to be designed to be more like a container inside of a container. So the external container is what has the water reservoir, while the internal container holds the dirt in your plant material. If you prefer the look of a decorative or terracotta container to a plastic container, you can always put a plastic container inside a decorative container. Plastic containers are useful for gardening as they retain moisture and avoid evaporation. Black or dark pots absorb heat. Sometimes this is good and sometimes this is bad, but you want to keep this in mind when selecting your pot. Air circulation as well as amount of sunlight is very important to consider in placement of your vegetable garden and containers. It is a good idea to watch the area you're planning on placing your containers to see how the light falls at different times of the day. For the soil for your container, you want to think about nutrition and drainage. You want to make sure that the soil is nutrient full so that way you won't have to continually add additives to it throughout the growing season. I highly recommend compost. If you can't make your own compost, you can purchase compost either mushroom or manure style at your home garden goods store. You're also going to want to add to that soil things like vermiculite or perlite, which is going to aid in drainage. You don't want the soil of your container to compact so that the roots can't get the nutrients and water that they need. It's always a good idea to pre-water your container and the soil within before planting. Another thing besides the container itself that you may want to consider is support. Many vegetables like cucumbers and beans are vining growth habitat and so they will need a trellis or a cage to aid them in production. When watering your container garden, you want to keep in mind that the smaller the container, the more frequently you'll have to water because the soil won't have the mass to retain the moisture. If regular watering is an issue due to your work schedule, you may want to consider positioning your container where it receives morning sun rather than afternoon sun. This will be a less direct and harsh light and therefore it won't suck out as much of the moisture. If you find yourself needing to feed your container garden, I suggest using a fertilizer that is diluted such as a fish emulsion, a seaweed extract, or compost tea. Compost tea is super easy to make if you have access to compost. All you do is put a small amount in a um, one gallon container. I reuse milk jugs for that and then fill the rest with water and let that steep like a tea and then you have compost tea. What that does is it extracts the nutrients from the compost and puts it into a water solution that's easy to distribute on a pond of plants. You want to start off feeding your plants once every two weeks and then adjust to their needs. My final tip is mulching. Mulching is a great way to help your container retain its moisture, but you want to make sure not to pack mulch near the stem of your plants because that may cause rotten disease. I hope you found this tutorial on container gardening for vegetables to be helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time on City Steading Garden and Grow.